Well, good morning, everyone. I'll be honest, I am absolutely loving working here. I'm just getting job number one done of today. It's uh, quarter to eight in the morning, so quite late now. Been uh, been a little bit busy. Just where we get this filled up, I'm just going to let you know that uh, I'm yeah absolutely loving working here. It's been amazing. Usually I'm not one for getting up out of bed in the mornings, <laughs> but I couldn't I couldn't wait to be here. I can't wait for my alarm to go off in the morning because you know farming is is never really a job that I considered. We've um, we've not lived in Bally Spring for that long, to be perfectly honest. We've... My dad works in, in the Midlands as in a, um, a vehicle workshop. But he's, uh, he's always done heavy machinery and stuff as well. And um, we, just, we just needed a fresh start. So we moved out here. About a, about a year ago and instantly fell in love with the place it's it's been absolutely amazing and um but yeah farming is never something i considered that i would be doing just during this yeah farming is never really something that i considered uh, to be something that I'd want to do in life. Right, cow trough is all filled up for another day. Take the trailer off. There we go. That's that sorted. Now, the weather is stunning today. Because Gavin Gavin has said let's get that other field cut let's leave that there for a second but before I do that I did want to talk to you more about the cows so they're all quite young we have a bull up here There's her. Yeah, so we have our bull. And we have uh, 10 heifers. And um, we're hoping, well, once they once they come into puberty, we have 10 heifers. I think we've got more than 10 heifers. Yes, I miscounted. We've got 20 heifers. I don't know where I got 10 from. So we've got 20 heifers and one bull. They're all still coming into puberty. So we're not going to be calving them anytime soon. Maybe it's going to be next year, I think. But they... Uh, They're as happy as anything. They've got everything they need. They they feed them total mixed ration. They're going to produce milk, and they're going to produce calves. And as they get older, we're going to have to be um, shipping them off to the butchers, to the slaughterhouse. And that is how Gavin keeps his farm going. And it's not always easy. I mean, most of the fields are geared towards feed for the cows. I'm <clears throat> over there. Yeah, most of the um, fields are geared towards uh, feed for the cows, uh, which is which is the right way to do it. Because the last thing you want is to be buying in feed. Do you know what? It, in my first few weeks here, I've already learned so much. I've learned so much about it all. 
and I'm absolutely loving it, especially on days like today. Look at this weather. So, we need to get into that field and get working. Right then. So the access for it is down here. Oh. That must be Owen. Right, let's get down here before the next people come along and we've just got to pop in to the right here where are we going? not far at all right so that's the field that, that Gavin doesn't really do much with and this is the one he wants me to plant stuff in to plant stuff in <laughs> I'm still half asleep apparently this morning this is the one where we need to cut today so we're going to go round uh, we're going to go round the edge first and cut the edge and then we're going to start going around the other way Gavin's taught me that so that I'm not driving on the bit that I haven't cut so much Alright, here we go. And then this all needs to be added to the plate. And then uh, we can start compacting it. There are more grass fields that we've got ready, like that one over there. But that one's going to become hay. So we need to wait for a little bit of uh, drier weather for that one. That's what we're going to need, a bit of drier weather. Uh, this um this mower is ridiculously narrow working width but it does cut well at some point i think he's going to need to upgrade it because it's it looks like it's been hanging around since the um since the middle ages all right it's now gone eight o'clock and i'm gonna carry on and get this done so I'll catch up with you when it's finished Field lights come on, so we're getting we're getting our way through the field. It's um, it's, it's taking time. It's it's gonna it's gonna take time, but especially with this, such a, a small mower. I mean, Gavin said he was uh, he was considering getting a, a larger one, but I mean, honestly, it can't come soon enough. Um, but yeah, I reckon we'll get. 
we'll get this section of the field done and then we'll have to go up and top up to go ho go back and top up with fuel because uh, it's getting low thought I'd uh, chunk the field up into two smaller sections so that's what I've done makes the job seem a little bit less uh, arduous but yeah still loving it it's, t it's 10 to 9 so this isn't taking super -ly, superly long superly long that's not a word it's not taking an incredibly long amount of time but it is it's taking a while Let's get this bit done and we'll go get fuel. cutting it a little bit fine with the fuel there but uh, right we've done that section now that's all done we can now head back and get some fuel and then come back out and do this section that's going really really well and I'm I'm impressed with these flotation tires these haven't slipped once absolutely incredible Gavin will be pleased. Okay. Your tanks on that side on this one. So, there we go. Well, what a job. It's caught to 11 now, so it's taken a lot of the day. Well, a lot of the morning, I should say. Oh, now I'm getting confused about which levers to pull. Right, uh, yes, that is a well-cut field, even if I do say so myself. Seriously, so impressed with these tyres, though. Absolutely brilliant. So... Next job, I guess, is to row it. I'm not sure check in with Gavin before we do that, but, uh, yep. Right. Let's go and uh, drop the mower off first. And we'll park up and have a chat. Oh, he's in here. 
Well, there you go then. Easy enough. Good morning, Gavin. Morning, Boyle. I see you uh, do a good job. I got, I got, uh, who, uh, I came out to check the water. Have you done it? Yeah. I wasn't going to make the same mistake again. Oh, it's brilliant. And, uh, yeah, that, that those, those tires look like they're working well. Do you know what? I haven't had one slip. I think it's brilliant. And that whole field's now cut. Oh, fantastic. We do need to get that fermenting today, you see. Because, uh, we are now out of bales. Yes. I oh, know, yeah, we, we are. Cows will last a couple, little bit longer, but, uh, so we need to get that all over here, compacted, and fermenting today. The fertilizer spreading is just going to have to wait till next month. Okay. Well, uh, I'll go and grab the windrower then, and start rowing it up. Yeah, before you do that, lad, you, uh, you come and have a cup of tea. You'll be working hard. Oh, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Oh, well, that was a nice cup of tea. About half eleven now. I'll get on with the rowing. And uh, hopefully... Then we'll stop for some lunch. And then start the picking up this afternoon. I'm going to use the JCB for that, but for the rowing... My favourite Ford. Right then. Get the the wind rower picked up. I'm very much looking forward to that um, to using that hay buster. That looks amazing. That'll be for um, for the cow's bedding, I assume. Right, let's get this switched on. Switched on? Connected. There we are. Right, lift it up and off we go. Very delicate this thing is, I've got to be careful not to smack it on anything. Right then. How are we doing for traffic? We good, it looks like. So, let's get back into the field and carry on working. My field's looking good at the minute. Although I might give it some fertilizer uh, when we spray the crops. I might go in, just nip in and spray the grass as well. I don't know. Or maybe some uh, something something else. Some uh, what do you call it? Um, fertile the, the f manure. That's it. All right then. Let's get rowing. Hopefully this won't take too long. Like I said, be nice to be able to stop for lunch. Get it all done and dusted. Money on cures. Forgot how to fix myself. They say that time is free. Then why is it so precious? Oh, I'll say memories in my head. Like Polaroids on walls. They remind you to look ahead. Time is running out. Well, there we go. That's all rowed up. All beautifully rowed up, if I do say so myself. Looks pretty damn good. So, uh, time to get this put away. And then we will be grabbing some lunch before we, uh, before we get the everything picked up.
Now, according to the forecast, there is rain on the way tonight. So we need to get it all um, compacted, covered over, and fermenting before the rain sets in. But the weather over the whole summer isn't looking that good, to be perfectly honest. Right, let's get this put away. Yeah, a little bit worried about getting the hay made if the weather's not going to be that good. And we have got quite a bit there, but it's not going to last us. Not going to last us till next year, that's for sure. Right. There we go. Now this, this can go away because we're going to be using the JCB for the next bit, the fast track. I think it'd be better to call it the fast track. Instead of the JCB, because that's a JCB as well, so I suppose it could be the load all or the handler and the fast track. Right. And go there for now. Get that hooked up. There we go. So Yes, like I said, JCB is going to be what we're using after lunch. But first of all, I'm going to grab some lunch. Gavin said I was welcome anytime into the house to get some lunch, so that's where I'm going to go. I'll see you in a bit. Mmm, that was a nice sandwich. Really nice sandwich. So... We need to grab the JCB and get it onto the loading wagon. Get it all picked up off the field and dumped in here. Not going to spend too long uh, doing that on camera. So, uh... What are we doing for fuel in here? Yep. Filled up. Oh yeah, I filled it up before we parked it, didn't I? Okay. So, loading wagon then. There we go. That looks like a much better fit. Look at that. Beautiful. Obviously, this will be the first time it's used. Come on, let us in. Thank you. Okay, so what are the controls in here? Uh, okay, we'll switch it on. Yep, that's running. Then we need to lower down the pickup. There we go. That should be it. Superb. Right then. It working? Yes, it's working. Look at that, it's picking up the grass. Superb. Oh, that's working brilliantly. Right, let's get this done. Well, that's a full trailer load already. We've been all the way around the headland and we've been down one strip, not even all the way. And we have a full trailer load already. This is really, really going to add to the, um, the silage on that pad.
Time to get it all sorted. Well, this is the final load and it has massively increased the amount we have on the uh, on the on the slate on the slab I should say because it's, it's concrete slab so that is absolutely amazing I'm gonna park this up over here out of the way for now if we just pop it in front of the shed here that should be fine. And that will do. So shut that down. Okay. So now what we need to do is compact it. We've got a bit to pick up around the edge as well. So first of all, we'll have to... Uh, oh, no. I left the beacon on, on the Ford. Oh, that's better. Oh, I hope the battery's alright. Haven't done the same on the JCB, have I? No. So, let's get the telehandler all fired up. Fired up. We'll pick up the bucket. Get everything all flattened out. And scooped up more into the middle. And then we can compact it. Pick up this bit all from the edge first. If we can. <laughs> Get it all flattened out nicely. So we can get it compacted. Right, I'll see you in a bit. been at this now quite a long time and it looks fairly well compacted to me and it's all flattened out nicely there is some overspill in the front here but um, I don't think that can be helped because as soon as you scoop it up and put it back in you have to compact it again so See if uh, see if Gavin wants to come out here. We'll see. Right in a sec. Have a look.
Oh, hi, Gavin. Hello, Laro. Well, I've, I've got to be honest. That is the best, the most amount of grass I've ever had on that plate. No wonder it's spilling over the edges. It's a, uh, it's a good yield. That yeah, I was really impressed with how much I got off that field. Actually, it was um, three and a bit trailer loads. Well, that is impressive. Well, uh, I tell you what, I'll give you a hand and uh, get it all covered over. It's star for men ten. Thanks, Kevin. There we go. <clears throat> That's a good job. That it's a good job. Do we um, need to put anything on it to weigh it down? No, I don't think so. I bought this heavyweight tarpaulin. Should be fine. Okay, amazing. Well, I'm glad you got that done today. It's, uh, yeah, it's looking like it's going to be wet for a few days. I tell you what, you've worked hard today, so uh, leave the machines where they are. You head home, get yourself cleaned up. Uh, I'll finish off the little bits around here, and then uh, we can get back on it tomorrow. Okay, thanks, Kevin. See you later. All right, then. That's that done. I'm going to head home. It's a long day, that one. And, um... We'll start it all again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.